How's it guys? How's it Jeff? It has been approximately two weeks since I last filmed a vlog. I've obviously just been editing all my Kenya vlogs. For those of you that are concerned that I didn't film or take my anti-malarial tablets, I did. So here it is now. Day one being like home, just having breakfast. So I'm taking my Malatec, going this for seven days. Every morning I'll make sure that I film myself having these so that I don't forget. Day two of being back in Cape Town, it's nice and rainy today. Just had breakfast, so I'm taking my little G. There's stuff floating in this water. It is day three, then I'm back in Cape Town, just having breakfast, so I'm having my Malatec. Got him. Smash him down with a glass of water, make sure you don't get that Meleza. People don't call it Meleza. Sounds like a type of drink. Anyway, we'll check you guys tomorrow for another update on ASP Malaria Pill Update. What, what? Day four being back home, just had breakfast. <laughs> Definitely not feeling any side effects from the pills. Day five, had my breakfast, now I'm on G. Malaria pill down my hall. Just had breakfast. It is day six after. Where was I? Kenya. They're definitely having an effect on me now. Oh, yeah, also, I shaved the beard last night. Day seven of being back home, having my final malaria tablet. It's not quite the same time of day as normal, but I have to have it on a full stomach, and I just had my first meal of the day, so. Okay, please unscrew this for me. Having a picnic, let's have. Thank you. Otherwise, this morning, I'm just having some hot cross buns in bed. Julia. Sav has this dry shampoo, Batiste Instant Hair Refresh, which is coconut and exotic tropical, and all it makes me think of is Sean Kingston in this song. Oh wait, not this bit. This bit. I've missed you guys. I've missed vlogging. Even though I've been putting up a vlog a day, I haven't been actually filming for like two weeks. So, but the reason that I'm filming today is because I have something pretty exciting planned with uh, Adam Spires. We are possibly, because it's now started raining, so I'm not 100% sure if we're still gonna go through with it, gonna go check out these old abandoned tin mines in Cape Town. I've never been before. Adam went two weeks ago or last week sometime. He's already done a video on it. If you wanna go check that out, you can. So the tin mine is somewhere up there in the mountain. Not a hundred percent sure. Let's find Adam. <laughs> How's it going? Let me get a bit closer. <laughs> Matt, oh, Matt, yeah. nice to meet you. Do you mind if I film? No, film that's you need to. Adam? I feel a bit awkward to film. I don't like How's it going? Oh, oh, this is, oh. <laughs> so this is Devil's Peak. We're kind of at the base of Devil's Peak. But check, there's just fresh water running down. This is so clear. So this is the main shaft here, just a little rocky outcrop. As you can see, I don't think they want people going in there. Ah. We won't go in here. Apparently, you have to abseil down, you said. Yeah. It goes down at an angle like this, and then just goes straight down. Okay. So you go down into like darkness. So we've got an alternate entry point. We're gonna go check that off. We've noticed that some of these rocks here that looks like a, it's like a quartz, eh? Yes, a quartz seam. The same in the tunnel. So that's dropped down now on top of this barrier. So maybe it's not a good idea to stand below the shaft when we get in there. Also because you have some people throwing rocks down. So some people just are so inconsiderate, Matt. I hate those people. Yes. I've heard they're really good looking though. <laughs> so the rocks having fallen from that quartz strip or seam, that reminds me, I think I mentioned it in the Kenya vlogs as well, is that uh, geological time includes now. That's a quote from Aaron Ralston's book. I think he quotes someone else in it. And uh, basically what it means is, just because something is the way it is now, doesn't mean it can't change especially when it comes to big rock formations, overhangs on cliffs and things like that. So when you're doing silly stuff like this, you need to be considerate of that as well. That just because a rock has a ledge sticking out, doesn't mean it's not gonna collapse at any minute because it has to collapse at some point, right? So this is our alternative entrance here. It's quite thin, but uh, should manage. Haven't been needing too many wine gums. Adam's gonna go in first, check it out, make sure there's no uh, white walkers or anything. There are rumors of porcupines down there. When I say rumors, I mean, <laughs> if you watch Adam's video, you'll see there are porcupines down there, which is pretty cool. All clear. <laughs> you can actually pull him in by his feet if you want to. You just gotta be very careful, there's a lot of loose stuff up here. <laughs> Jeez, this is cool down here though. Matt noticed that the soil is a little bit loose around the entrance, so he's going to stay outside and just make sure that we stay safe. But we're just letting people know that we're going in just for safety. Safety first. All right. 
step in some water. The wetness is happening. Can't believe you say that too. Jeez, this is awesome. Well, all the wood that you see in here, a lot of it's from like the mine, like over 100 years ago. Oh, serious? So they started digging in 1910 and then finished in 1912, so it was only two years. Two years? Yeah. A whole mine? Sounds like a lust. So just to get some scale of the tunnel, that is all the way down to the one side, and then the entrance is all the way down there. This is where the porcupine sleeps. Interesting that he's not here now. <laughs> That's a rabbit, not a porcupine. <laughs> oh, the dog. dog. That's the original markings from the cave. I don't know what it means, but it means some sort of like, I don't know. Mining term. Mining term. Okay, this is a CJ Fenter. He's born on the 15th. Of the 11th, 50th. That could, that's what that could be, actually. And that means that he's um, a Pisces. <laughs> if anybody who knows mining or knows what this means, let me know in the comments. Yo, there's an eerie echo of the bass in our voices. An old tin can next to the dynamite hole. So is this what they used to mine, eh? No. Tin cans. <laughs> no. Okay. Stayed in that way. We came from this way. If you check this out. And this. Oh, this looks proper scary. Oh, my word. Yeah. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> this goes down like 80 feet, bro. <laughs> no, that this is... Dive is I'm not even going to go stick my phone over there in case I drop it. There could be things in there you don't even know. <laughs> that's <kinda> scary, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Okay, it's still a bit slippery, yeah? So that's the original shaft. The main bit where we were was through there. Look at the geology. That's what's, <laughs> that's what's exciting me. Look at these quartz seams. No, this is cool. Like that stuff. Yeah, that's my jam. I like it. Thanks for bringing me here, bro. You bet. Yeah. It actually goes further down here. It just dead ends at the bottom. You can see the dead end over there. Yeah. I'm enjoying these rocks. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, get a stick. Oh shit. Oh, I can't see anything. He's so cool. The only problem is he's... No, yeah. <laughs> He's blocking our exit. He doesn't want to get in the water. Yeah. Go, bro. <laughs> Go to freedom. So, what do you think? That was awesome, dude. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. I'm... <sighs> the slice of mat emerges from his hole. Timid and shy, a nocturnal creature by nature. One must be careful not to spook the slice of mat. Struggling as he exits his den. Inquisitive about the world around him. But I'm still filming in case you fall. <laughs> That's sort of a good filmmaker, a vlogger. No, it's never stop rolling when you're on a slippery slip. And then as soon as you come out, you've got the city right there. Check how many we got for this. Well, actually, not too bad. Banana time. Thanks, bro. Yeah, you're welcome. Everyone's got a banana. Thanks so much for bringing me here. What a fun and showing time. you that. I'm gonna go home because I've got edits to do. Can you do that? Otherwise, Boom. nice to see you. I'm gonna be seeing you soon yeah. because we've got some exciting stuff planned. Matt, thanks so much. Thank you. Also. I really appreciate having all the knowledge that you brought along as well. I feel like everything Adam told me, I feel like he got from you. No, and no, then... it's, it's because I know it because I know it. It's uh, nothing to do with Matt. Check out my website and you dig around and you'll find lots of history on Cape Town. Yeah, he does too What's your website? What's it's your... goodhopeadventures.com Goodhopeadventures.com Okay, I'll put or the link. It'll be here and then the link will be below as well that you can click on. So as you guys know by now, I'm sure you do, that Adam is a Facebook vlogger, or that's what he calls himself, because he uploads all his vlogs to Facebook. He has also been getting me pumped on the idea of building my Facebook page. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen, but in my past few vlogs, I've actually been linking my Facebook page down below. I haven't said anything about it because there isn't anything on there. But if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Facebook as well as YouTube, I think I'm going to start uploading vlogs to YouTube and Facebook. I'm going to go home now and edit. Finally got the edit done and now I am off to meet up with some friends at a place called The Toad. The Toad and Josephine. The Toad and Josephine 
is closing down. We are going there for their final pub quiz. I'm gonna be late for the pub quiz, but I'm just gonna pull in and see how it goes. The Toad and Josephine. Are you boys ready? This is the golf crew, pretty much. Most of, the, most of them, Harry, Brad, Chris, Shane. We have six teams here for the finale. Team number two. That's yeah. us. Newbies. 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 <laughs> what? We have one round left to go. Yeah, it's not it's not going well. I'm tired and I want to go home. That pub quiz was horrible. Honestly, the hardest pub quiz I've ever done. The feeling is like when you go to a friend's house and they have Trivial Pursuit or they have 30 seconds and you're like, I love 30 seconds, I love Trivial Pursuit. But then, once you start playing, you realize it's Trivial Pursuit from like the 1990s or it's like the oldest version of 30 seconds that there is and so you know none of the clues you know none of the questions you know none of the answers so we got a total of i took our score sheet we got a total of 52 points and the winning team got 100 and a half points and it was so long as well we got here at, it started at half past seven it is now half past ten it was three hours i love pub quizzes and i feel like i know a lot of random facts and i'm i'm like i'm angry now you know? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna head home. I'm probably just gonna go to bed. I'm properly drained, you know? It's like coming out of an exam where you just haven't studied for it, so you just don't know, and you don't know why you should know those things or how you could be expected to know them. 